Now, you know, Memorial Day is the unofficial start to summer. So I thought it was high time we dive into the hottest trends for summer 2024. But I'm not only talking about what's in, I'm also spilling the tea on what's out and even dishing on a few trends that may be in style but will not be making their way into my closet. So buckle up darlings, let's get into it. Fashionistas new here, I'm Chi Chi, welcome. Not new, hey girl, hey. Welcome the new kids, let them know how we treat family around here. Here we're all about celebrating style, self-expression, and fabulous fashion. So if that's what you're into, sis, you found your tribe, stay a while. Before we get into the video, let's talk about this outfit. So this top I actually have on is part of a two-piece short matching set. When I say that I have a problem when it comes to short matching sets. I do and I do because during the summer I want effortless, I want chic, I want easy okay to put together and that's what a matching set does for your girl okay make sure you're following me on instagram because i will be spilling the tea on all the matching sets that i've been picking up and trust me sis I've, i found some gems this set is actually from a wally world you know how we feel about her around these parts i just love the purple on the orange and red it's such a fun combination the short is like a paper bag waist style which i really like because it cinches me on the smallest part okay and then for out over the belly over the fupa and this is a linen I wouldn't call it lightweight though it's kind of like mid okay so I would say this is a great outfit to throw on if you're gonna go to brunch or you're gonna be doing stuff where you're going in and out because you know sometimes it's like freezing indoors and like super hot outside this is kind of like in between and so that is my outfit of the day in terms of jewelry I'm wearing my usuals my necklace is Marin Costello I cannot remember the name of this one, but it has this tiny little diamante in the middle. Kind of reminds me of like a starburst. That might be the name. And then for the arm candy, it's the same. I'm wearing all the jewelry that I usually wear. It's just my usual everyday style. Throw a pair of sneakers, slides, a cute little crossbody, and you're out the door and some glasses. Yeah. That's what I love a matching set for. And the good thing about it is that you can wear this with other pieces in your wardrobe. So you're really getting, you know, the bank for your buck. Okay, I think that's how you say it. All right, now let's get into it. <laughs> I was gonna talk about this trend, but you know what? I'm gonna skip it for right now because it's almost a little bit triggering. If you are a child of the 90s, <laughs> that trend I'm gonna talk about in a little bit is a little bit triggering. So let me leave that for now. Let's start with barrel jeans, okay? Barrel jeans are very much in for this season and beyond they've been like slowly creeping in and i don't know if it's just if if it's if it's just me but brown jeans kind of remind me of like the trapeze trouser that was also or trapeze jeans or the balloon jeans that may had a little moment a couple of years ago i know that it had a little moment because i owned a pair and i donated it like last year and i'm like oh my gosh why did i do that because they're pretty identical the only difference is that um i find that most barrel jeans are on the market of more cropped which is what makes them really great for summer and you guys know the sambas the adidas and the gazelles and the uh, especials are everywhere and they're a great jeans to kind of show off your footwear but they do have that little shape going on and in my opinion this trend works best for ladies who have more slender hips because when you have fuller hips you're also competing with the shape of the trouser but I would love to know your thoughts on the barrel jeans because at first I was like, hell no. Nah. And now it's starting to grow on me. Oh my God. It really is starting to grow on me. And um, I've been doing a little research, okay? Because you know trends always take forever to come in. Plus, trying to see, okay, where can I get like the authentic barrel jeans? Because some jeans, they call them barrel, but they not. They not, they not barrel. So I've been doing a little research and I actually was found a couple pairs that I think legitly pass as barrel jeans and actually come in plus. So let me know if you guys want the details on that in the comments and I will link them for you down below. But yes, barrel jeans, y'all. I don't know what it is, but everybody and their mama. And I feel like barrel jeans are one of those things that people you either love or you 
either hate because it doesn't do anything for the shape, okay? It doesn't show off your legs, it rarely shows off your butt. If anything, though some of the styles I've seen give major camel toe, especially if you have fuller hips. But the girl said barrel jeans are it, and I'm gonna credit this trend to the boho free people-esque girls because they love them these type and this style of jeans. But sound off below in the comments what you're thinking. Are you a barrel jeans girl or not? And if you're thinking about styling barrel jeans we have a whole blog post on this on suppleshe.com with different examples and inspo I'm pretty sure by the time this video is up that post is live but I would say make the jeans the star of the show this is not the time to compete with the jeans so you want to keep whatever you're wearing in my opinion up top a little bit more sleek so that the jeans have its moment and you're balancing out your proportions now one trend I would not be buying for this summer is going to be bodycon dresses y'all know I've had beef with bodycon dresses for the last couple of years and I would have thought that at this point that they would have faded to the oblivion but they have not yet okay thanks to the likes of Fashion Nova and whatnot but I am so over the whole bodycon dress in my opinion it's rarely practical for most women unless you happen to have a figure eight body with a super flat belly you know it's just to me it's just we work too hard for it like you gotta wear spanks you know you gotta wear certain type of shapewear certain type of underwear and if you don't wear that you spend the whole time kind of like sucking in or pulling on the dress or like feeling subconscious about your belly in it the fabric is typically super stretchy doesn't give you any control it's just not flattering I don't know maybe it's because I'm in my late 30s but like I don't want to work that hard to look good okay can I you know, throwing a girdle or two and throwing a bodycon dress, absolutely, but I can also throw a wrap dress on. I can also throw a slip dress on, you know? Like, I can also throw on all these other things, okay? And look fabulous and great and feel great. So why am I, like, doing it to myself by trying to, you know, squeeze myself into that, the spank, squeeze myself into that girdle so I can squeeze myself into a dress? Child, like, <laughs> you know what's so hilarious? They used to talk about how women used to be hysterical a couple hundred years ago. The reason why women were hysterical was because they were wearing them damn girdles. So tight they could barely breathe. They were not getting enough oxygen to their brain. Of course that's why they were fainting. Like low key. Low key, the things we do for beauty, like is it even worth it for the male gaze? All right, I just feel like, you know, the body con dress has had its moment. And I think it's time for it to be hung up and retired. Now, do I have bodycon dresses in my closet? Yes. If the on the rare occasion it calls for it, I will pull one out. Okay, I could do that. It better be for somebody special. <laughs> but like especially during the summer, like you gotta wear layers of girdles in the heat. No, I can't do it. It's not my ministry. It's not my ministry anymore. I'm not trying too hard for anybody. No, no, no bodycon dresses. Mm -mm. So oversized bags after years and years and years of the micro bag being the trend the bags were getting smaller and smaller and until they became like wallet sized purses designers were selling mini the mini fendi purses the mini gucci ones you know things were getting ridiculous and ridiculous with the sizing micro minis nanos like why am i paying fifteen hundred dollars for a bag that can't even fit my lipstick what absolutely not so <laughs> Like after all of that, right? Now is the time for the oversized trend. You know what I've realized with fashion? When we overdo stuff, we just get to this moment where it's like everybody's had enough and then we do the exact opposite and we call it something fresh. No, it's not fresh. I still have my hobo. Okay, the first ever 100% leather, like it wasn't even designer, nice bag I ever purchased for myself. I still own that bag. I still have it. I bought it from Zappos for $160. What? I could afford a $160 bag? Y'all, it's so crazy. It was such a splurge for me as a mama who was in college, you know, who didn't have two pennies to rub together. And that's why I've never been able to get rid of that bag because it does need to go to like a leather worker to fix the handles a little bit. But I don't know if I'm ever gonna, like it has just too much sentiment in my heart, okay? Anyways, 
To cut the long story short, huge oversized bags are back, oversized totes, oversized hobos. And I definitely credit this trend to Bottega. When they came out with the mini Jody, and then they came out with the bigger Jody, and I'm pretty sure it has another name that I don't know. I think it just ushered in the era of oversized bags, okay? And I'm here for it. Well, let me be honest, I'm here for it and I'm not. Because one thing about bigger bags is that you gonna find stuff to put in it. So one thing I have appreciated about you know, the smaller size bag is that I have to be discerning with what I put in there. For instance, if you give me a big bag, I'm gonna fill it up. Yes, I will. I'm gonna have everything plus the kitchen sink in that purse, all right? So that's my only issue there, but I'm loving it, especially for the summer. If you love that boho aesthetic, I mean, this is the time to live your best life, okay? Anthropology has a bunch of, of options like that, so I will link them for you in, in the description box down below if you're interested. But I also heard the girl says, they said go to TJ Maxx, because TJ Maxx also got it as well. Okay, so if you don't want to splurge on like real leather, you can go to TJ Maxx and get your life. All right, that's what the girl said. The girl's on TikTok, by the way. <laughs> the next item is definitely gonna shock you. Oh my God, it's gonna shock you. I can't believe it, but jorts, y'all. Y'all were complaining about the long maxi denim skirts, but jorts, yes. Long shorts that go past your knees. The girl said that's trending. <laughs> Oh my god! Now, I did not put this on the list of things that will not be entering my wardrobe because I technically have like one pair, but this is one trend where you really have to pair it with the right things. Like, you put it with the wrong top and you will go left immediately. Especially if you were someone, you know, over 30. You know, the teenagers, the 21 year olds, they can pull it off in anything, right? But once you hit, once you're going above 30, you know, if you pair that with the wrong top, you start looking like somebody took you straight out of the 90s, okay? Straight out of the 90s. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts on shorts. I mean, I don't know. For some, they're like, what do you mean by this is trending? I've always been wearing these longer shorts. I'm gonna be respectful. But, um, mm -mm. no. The, the, like, I've never been a Daisy Duke girl. That's not my ministry. I got a little too much junk in the trunk, too much in the back. There are too many hills and valleys for me to be in, a, in, in, in some Daisy Dukes, but what you're not gonna catch me in for most of the time is a jort, okay? that That's that's giving a little bit too mature. It, that's giving I'm going before my time, you know, personally, personally. But jorts are in, so if you've always liked long shorts, sis, this is your time to shine. Go on, rack up those longer shorts. Rack them up, okay? And rock the heck out of them this summer, all right? But let me know in the comments how you feel about jorts, okay? Speaking of shorts, it's going to be the boxer shorts. I'm seeing this all over. Now, I'm not seeing a lot of people that look like me in this trend. I really think the free people aesthetic is having a moment. One with the barrel jeans, two with the boxer shorts. Like literally the striped boxer shorts, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on free people, you can get them on a few places. I think like maybe Aerie has them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say never for this one, but it's more like not likely. Like you would only catch me in this trend if I was like on vacation and I needed a like cover up for the pool. I'm trying to not say like so much, I apologize. Count in the comments how many times have I said that word? Probably a lot. That's the only time you would catch me really opt in for this trend. But when I tell you the girls are eating up the boxer shorts, they are eating it up. Everywhere I turn now with the Biker hats, the oversized t-shirts, and the boxer shorts, yeah. And the sambas, that's a uniform right now, okay? The girls are eating up this trend and I would love to know your thoughts on what you think about this trend. Again, don't hate it, just it seems a little juvenile for me, but then I tend to dress a little juvenile, I've been told, but you know what? I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> My son is literally cringing. <laughs> Right now, I know him. He'd be like, oh my God, mom, stop. But yeah, okay. <laughs> the boxer shorts are definitely in and I, I don't see myself spending money on it. it. I don't see it making its way to my wardrobe intentionally, okay? Unless I steal a man's, you know, shorts. And he got some striped boxers. But let's 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 stay on, let's, let's stay on, on script, okay? And then, 
And then, and then, this next trend is definitely giving me full on 90s flashback, full on middle school flashback. And that is the pedal pushers, y'all. The pedal pushers are back. I don't know what they're calling them these days. I feel like I heard somebody call them something different. But if you were a 90s, early 2000s kid, oh, not kid, if you were in elementary, middle school, in the 90s and early 2000s, pedal pushers. I don't even think it's an early 2000s trend. I think it's a 90s. It's a mid, like 1995 to 1999. Pedal pushers are back. It's the same reason why you couldn't get me to buy the Lizzie McGuire um, slippers that Target had last year. Like it's just giving me elementary school all over again. First of all, I'm a woman who is wide around the hip area and I feel like all that pedal pushers do is emphasize like how skinny your legs are versus to your thighs. So Although it might work for others, it's just not for me. Like, it's making me come to terms with the fact that your girl is getting over the hill, okay? Because now all the things that I wore when I was growing up is coming right back. I remember I was very awkward in elementary school because I was a foreign kid. And I remember my mom got me some pedal pushers and that was like the first time that one of the cool girls actually gave me a compliment in elementary school right so i do remember them pedal pushers i do <laughs> let me know your thoughts on pedal pushers what do you think about the trend are you going to be trying it i'm on the fence on that on this one i'm not sure if this is going to make it into my wardrobe but the girls say the pedal pushers is where it's in okay throw it on with like a sleeveless vest you are going straight 90s that vest from janana nailers future collective you got a full 90s fit right there. The one, the Lizzie McGuire slippers? Go ahead and cosplay. You could have a full on outfit for a 90s themed party. And one trend I will definitely not be participating in when I'm not on vacation is going to be the underwear short. I'm seeing people try to pass this as fashion, as style. I know who had something similar on the super micro mini short, you know, that doesn't even make any sense to wear in regular life. I see somebody style it with an oversized blazer since you're wearing underwear outside. Now, I will say that Target came out with a version of this trend and that I would wear to like a pool party or like to the beach on vacation. But like the little, the ones that actually look like underwear, like why is it going up so high? You know, I'm saying this, I'm, I'm actually rolling my eyes mentally in my head because I ordered the shorts that actually go with the vest from Janae's collection. And that can kind of skew a little short. Now I haven't gotten it yet. I'm pretty sure by the time you've seen it, I've gotten it. But I did go ahead and size up so I can have a little bit more length. So we gonna see. We gonna see if we can make it work. But yeah, the super really micro mini shorts is like, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. You know, I'm all for liberation and rocking what makes you feel good. But it's like, how many places can I practically wear this? And because it just does not align with my personal style and my life, it's gonna be a no. Speaking of that, that's something that we definitely discuss a lot in our style template guide. We kind of walk you through really refining your style, not just based on what you like, but also what actually works with your everyday life what's practical. We give you the tools and the tips and tricks to be able to select trends that work best with your personal style and life. We also give you those tools so that you can do this over and over again. So you don't find yourself like endlessly buying into things because they look shiny and new and because everybody says you should wear them. Yeah. Anyways, if you want to know more about our style template, you can check out the link in the description box down below. So I want to talk quickly about things that are definitely out for the summer. One of them is going to be these gladiator sandals. Sis, anything that looks like this, it's time to put them in the archive. I'm pretty sure they will come back because these these kind of things always have that way of coming back, okay? But for right now, we want to put these in the archive and we want to opt for more understated footwear, classic footwear when it comes to the summer. You know, a simple leather strap slide or a thong sandal is going to be your best bet. Going forward, you could also do like an espadrille. Those are the options, right? But anything that is overtly looking like this with a hundred billion straps, 
There are a few exceptions, but I would say this specific style, especially, is time to be put away. Okay, put it in the archive. I'm not saying you should toss it unless it's in bad shape, but for now, it's not the vibes. It's not, it's really not the vibes. Something like this would instantly date your outfit. Another thing that I've talked about in ad nauseum, it's gonna be the cold shoulder anything. I don't care if the fashion girls say it's back. No, it's not back in style. It is not back in style if you were a curvy girl because we have been cold shouldered to death. It is the easiest way to age yourself, to age your personal style, to show that you are not keeping up what's current. And again, I definitely believe in wearing clothing that's true to your style, but also I think it's just as important to keep your wardrobe fresh and current because before you open your mouth to speak, people judge you immediately. And when you're a curvy girl, when you're a bigger girl, you're it's like a double negative. You're also being judged on that, right? So the last thing you wanna do is just dress in a way that skews like it's out of touch, a little frumpy, you know, out of date. You wanna be fresh, you wanna be young, you wanna be vibrant. And so you wanna put away the cold shoulders, okay? If you got them, donate them, okay? <laughs> I know this is so harsh, but I'm being honest. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be inconsiderate. Obviously, if that's all you have, you know, if if you have a limited budget when it comes to clothing, I'm being facetious, but obviously all of that trumps this piece of advice. And again, we all have opinions, but anything cultural, especially like this, is going to instantly give no. And then finally, waterfall anything. Waterfall anything is completely out of style. It's been out of style, for, I would say, for at least five years. Waterfall vests, especially during the summer. I know the girls love the waterfall vests, and I get it because it helps to hide the belly. But instead of a waterfall vest, maybe do a kimono. Something that's fun, something that's punchy, something that's vibrant. But leave the waterfall anything alone. You could also put that in the archives if you like. It may come back in. I don't know if it's going to have like the same effect as it had in like the 2010s but anything waterfall is time for you to retire it whether it's a vest whether it's a dress that is high low I am yet to see high low be fresh and contemporary it always screams out of date in my opinion so let's leave the waterfall let's leave the high low pieces alone for now Okay, and what I mean by high low, I mean extreme. Okay, if it's a little lower in the back because, you know, maybe it's a short piece and they gave you extra fabric to cover up, that's different from like, we're starting here, we're ending here. Now, I've, I've said all the not so nice things, so let me let me sweeten it, okay? Let me sweeten it back up for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully all of you have not clicked off this video and you're still watching. So here are a couple of things that we are not embracing this summer. The first is waiting to be a certain size to enjoy summer. Waiting to be a certain size to go in the pool this summer. Waiting to be a certain size to go on vacation this summer. Waiting to be a certain size to wear a swimsuit in the pool this summer. Waiting to be a certain size to not die in sweat okay in long sleeves because you know you think your arms are too chubby we are definitely not waiting to be a certain size to live our best life this summer since you are beautiful just the way you are you don't have to be a certain size okay to enjoy the gift that is life Give yourself the permission to be free. Give yourself the permission to enjoy life in the body that you have right now. It is worthy of enjoyment right now. Stop beating yourself up maybe because you gained some weight because you had a baby or you gained some weight because you have a medical condition or you just gained some weight because life has been lifing or maybe you've always been a certain size. Stop beating yourself up, please. You beating yourself up is not going to change the scale. Okay, what's gonna change the scale is proactively working towards a better lifestyle. But at this moment, let's not even worry about the scale. Let's worry about you actually living a life that makes you even excited or gives you the motivation to make those changes that will improve what you see 
on the scale. And I know it's super easy to fall into comparing your bodies to what you see on, on the gram, to what you see on TV, to what you see in the magazine, but baby, you only get one life to live. That person got their life to live. Rather than spending so much energy and time hiding yourself and comparing yourself to others, focus on what you love about yourself. Focus on what you do well. Focus on how you can improve what you do well, what you love about yourself. And I promise you, when you start focusing on the positives, it'll totally change your outlook on the things about yourself that you may not be the most in love with. And lastly, one thing that's a definite do for this summer is shopping for the body you have. I talk about this a lot, especially on the gram and on TikTok. Shop for the body you have. A lot, when I say a lot of the issues that we have with self-esteem, a lot of the issues that we have with loving our bodies, all stem from us trying to make ourselves fit somebody else's mold. Know what your mold is. Know what your compositions are. Know what your proportions are and style to bring out the best in what you're working with. Okay, if you have wide shoulders and narrow hips but you have a full bust, then highlight the decolletage, girl, you got it. Okay, if you have wide hips and no boobs, you can still highlight the decolletage low key. But you know, choose the dresses that skim the curves. Whatever you've got, I trust me, you got something. Every single one of you got something that you can highlight, even if it's just your beautiful face, even if it's just your beautiful smile, even if it's just your delicate hands. You got something that you can highlight and dress best towards. All right, let's focus on what works best for us and shop for that. And I promise you, you will feel a hell of a lot better when you're shopping not based on what the model looks like, when you're shopping not based on what your favorite BBL influencer looks like, but when you're shopping for what you got going on. And if you want to know more about that, how to shop best for your body, again, our style template guide works through all of that. It gives you the tools that you need, a guidebook, a roadmap to help you figure out what works for you and dress yourself best. Babes, fashion isn't just about what you wear. It's about how you wear it and how it makes you feel. So as we dive in headfirst into the summer season, remember to stay true to yourself, embrace your unique style, and have fun with your fashion choices. And if you want to keep up with all the fashion tea and join in our style conversations, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Trust me, boo, you don't want to miss what we have in store for you. Until next time, stay chic, Stay fabulous and keep on slaying. Remember, your curves are your crown. Stay blessed. Why does this feel crooked? When I do that, then I feel like, I don't know. I do not know. This is like, I don't know what is going on. Oh my God, I don't have space for this. Wow.